Okay, try it again. All right. We're going to do eight millimeter. Now we're going to do glamour. And that check. Okay. Okay, we're going to go. Here we go. Got my cup. What's up, everybody? Let's see if it will work in my car. Poseidon, what's up? Maybe it'll cut out when I lose my Wi-Fi, but I don't know. I don't know. What's up in the realm? Shells. I just woke up, so I'm not too cute. I'm a little crusty. Whew. Let's see if this will work. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> So what's going on? You want to go for a ride? <coughs> Let's see what's on the my car is to warm up. It's like so dead. We're in the land of the dead. Oh, I got a notification that I'm live. Cruising. No. Do I have any requests? I have Cirrus. We can ask the dog star what we want to hear. What do you want to hear from the dog star? From the J-O-D in reverse. Uh oh, low power. Uh oh, it's frozen on me again. What if I get my. Can you still see me? It's not transmitting no more. Alright, I'm gonna get. Is it still going? I'm gonna plug it in. Oh, it's still frozen. I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> Let me do some surgery here. Some life support. Let's see if it likes that. Do you like it? 
for your safety. Please maintain road conditions and use some Am I still alive? while your vehicle is in motion. Uh oh. Uh oh. Live time cut me off because of. Let's see. All right. So now we're plugged in. Okay, we've got that. We got that going. We got some life juice to the false light. Cirrus, do we want to ask Cirrus what we want to listen to? Cirrus, are you going to bless this little live stream? All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'll probably get cut off, people.
I'll do that. Um, I'll do the twenty ounce. Yeah. Nobody's watching me. <laughs> it's really interesting. <laughs> Um, he also is really cool. Who is he still has buttons? So, um, kill a burger. There's this place here that it's like toxic burgers and crossbones that is this local. that I really dislike the Beatles and I really have to do John Lennon always had that a card purchase yeah so we all know like I'm sticking to my guns as always from the beginning that made me meet all the people I have of you. I'm just gonna sign right now. I'm gonna be fully forthright and tell all y'all who I've met. Maybe not, well, everybody. It's funny how people like are public and private. I've met a lot of people off of YouTube. A lot of I met a lot of content creators off of YouTube. Let's just put it that way. And some people want to keep their lives like, like secret. Like you really up to about their life, and they're not. Uh, Because if they were, you probably me. <laughs> but you don't. But I know not everybody watches who I watch. Um, 
But what I was getting to is the reason why I've met a bunch of people off of YouTube is because I recognize them and I, I, I remember them and I recognize them from the projects. Um, you know, I recognize Og Tellez. I feel, I, I know him. He won't talk to me. I've reached out to him multiple times. Um, but through various other people who Og Tellez also recognizes who he has said and has talked to in person. Yes, how are you, my love? Oh, so lovely to see you. Oh, sorry, I didn't make a turn. Oh. <laughs> I got my stimulant. Um... Well, you guys have some fun in store for you, Lucy. Lucy Isis, Missy Miss. Um, I'm excited for you guys to see each other. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Um, yeah, Og, Og has, I know, um, had personal... Uh, relationships with the other friends that I've made off of YouTube and has told them personally that he recognizes them from the projects and, um, I'm fucking just gonna throw it out there this includes Hermes Devin Maggi this includes Gary Warmerdam who I've all met in person um, some other people anyways um, Soul Mason, um, whose real name is Patrick, uh, I also recognize, and, uh, oh, I love a song. Well, excuse me, cause I'm singing you for somebody else, somebody who gave a damn, something made more like myself, and me. Anyways, um, did I turn my car off? Okay. So, um, yeah, um, and Soul Mason, he's deep in the Masonic process of enlightenment, which I kind of find, I mean, it's a contradiction that he still follows the program, yet he is allowed to, um, say what he says, um, but it's weird, and I've talked about this before, how the amnesia is real, and how I'll watch like Og Teles and um, with his tangential thought process, I'll actually space out and find myself waking up to him talking, and I wasn't really asleep, but I'll wake up into his train of thought and realize I have no idea what he's talking about, and um, have to rewind because I was in my own thought process, or I was I was in my own uh, loop of, or like own path. Um, so we do get the amnesia. I find myself watching him again of things I've already watched and hearing new things. Um, which means I'm just remembering what I've forgotten. And I find that that is to be the case with most information these days that I learn, um, and I relearn things and know that I've already learned them before and I kind of feel like a dummy for not remembering it. Um, but, um, there's times when I've watched Soul Mason, he's kind of, he's, he's gone in and out of obscurity and, um, 
But recently he's talked about the four projects being the God program. The, this he I think he took down the video that he talked about this. Um, the God program, devil program, demon program, angel program, and there's the, the fifth program, which is the ignorance of mankind. And then he's also said something interesting recently about um, how we've all had our brain scanned and it just keeps on putting me back to um, in my real life. I actually did have my brain scanned um, um, in college. I just randomly volunteered at UC San Diego to have my brain scanned for, for money. For this project, this experiment, it was like, you know, a thing on campus where you pull a little uh, phone number, and I don't know what drove me to do it, um, but I did it, and it was an all-day thing where they put electrodes on my brain and set me, front, set, in, set me in front of TV monitors and where I had buttons, and then I had to take long tests before and after. Um, it was really invasive. I don't know why I did it. Um, and I forgot about it for a long time up until recently, remembering that I did do it. Um, and I kind of wonder what they put in my head. And it really does straddle a lot of trauma that happened to me. Um, um, where I was actually drugged and attacked um, in college. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, this all stuff, this is not, you know, me recognizing people in the projects. Like, this actually happened in my straw man, you know, life. And, I'm, I mean, I've, I've, I've lived, like, a million lives. I've lived nine lives in my, like, real life. Um, let alone the remembrances of the past lives that I've had. Which just adds more... Um, evidence for me that this, I am part of the projects and, um, I'm continuing, my consciousness is split and I'm continually run in, in different bodies, especially in my dreams. I'm run in, um, yeah. So I don't know why I started talking about that, but, um, Yeah, but I've met a lot of people, um, including my roommate, and um, you know, I've met I met Big Nicks in person. I've met, um, yeah, some other people. So, and you can, <clears throat> like, the people that know, know, you know, <laughs> like, we, <we've clears throat> we find each other, and it's through the eyes, but, there's also a lot of souls that are stuck and they're stuck in the programs. Um, they're stuck in the mental, the mental prisons and the lies. It's the little lies that we tell it, tell ourselves to make things okay because everybody else does it. So it's okay if we do it or we make, we make excuses for ourselves, um, and it's those little excuses, those little things that we know that are bad for us that we do anyways because we're lazy or we're bored or we're hopeless. Um, it's those little lies that keep us here, the little lies that we tell ourselves. Um, yeah. 
Anyways. Um. I've noticed there's like less, I mean, as the censorship for YouTube is getting more, um, locked down, the reels are, are less and less, um, I feel like the people that have found each other pretty much have already found each other, and there's only a couple handfuls of us, um, Yeah. But yeah, we're on a farm, a loose farm. And um it's like all of these the <clears throat> the majority of truther channels, truther channels or anything that's spreading even it's even semi-valid information is um, obviously controlled and um, they're pushing the fear of God and that is like the biggest one of the biggest see you can see my eyes do you see how my eyes look you see them Like, do you see my eyes? Look at other people's eyes in their videos. They don't look like that. Um. What was I talking about? Um. Oh. They, um, the people that are supposedly pushing truth right now are pushing the fear of God. And that is the, the, I mean, there's multiple loose sources, hopelessness, loneliness, the, and the fear of God. Of course, like, you know, mother saving their child from death, the moment of death. These are all, you know, high grade loose sources, um, but the fear of God is the ultimate one that keeps us here, I think, and loneliness are the top two. And that's what the big, the big um, undercurrent is, you know, the fear of God and slash Jesus. And, um, you know, it's that little mental exercise in your head of like, of, of that little bit of fear of, of going over that mental hurdle of, of saying that God doesn't exist, or God is me. I am God. I am the ultimate choice decision maker. God is me. There, there is no separation between God and I. Um, and, the, and the saying goes with the notion of the devil. God and the devil are one and the same, and they're you. And coming down here is just a, an experiment in playing with the separation of your essence between you and God slash devil. Um, and, and you need to, to reintegrate that. Um, but a lot of souls here, it's the fear of God that it's like, well, if I say that to myself, if I say that I'm God and there really is a God, he's going to be pissed that I denounced him and I don't want to take that chance that I piss off the God. Like, what if there really is a God and I'm wrong? And I piss him off and then I'm screwed forever. Like, I feel like that's the mental exercise that people go through. So it's like that little fear of the possibility of fucking up. They don't, they're like, oh, I'm still going to say that there's an outside God. Like, there's something outside of me that's greater than me. And that will always, that's always going to be a victim mentality. That means you're never in the power seat. There's always going to be fate. Um, 
you know, that's like free wills. Um, and I know the, the arguments like, oh, well, you know, God put you here and then you have free will and whatever. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can hear all those arguments right now. But um, it's the fear. It's the fear of fucking up and not being able to go back. Hi, love. <clears throat> How are you, my dear? Um... In your ways. Sufi's back. I'm good. I just got some some um, matrix stimulation coffee, which I don't think is good for us, but I got the craving. Um, how are you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, guys. I always think I know, right? It's bad. Um, no, it's good. It's good for you. Don't tell us yourself it's bad. It's good for me. Um, all right, I'm gonna go, guys. Wally's going crazy. I love you. Bye.